Hey everyone, Zolnervous here, and I'm testing a microphone I've never heard before. This is the Aston Spirit Multi Pattern Condenser Microphone, and I don't know what to expect from it. I don't have a spec sheet, I don't have any documentation whatsoever. In fact, I don't even have my gain set to a high enough level for you guys to get an equal level. Okay. <coughs> I have no idea what to expect from this microphone. All I know is that it is a multi-pattern condenser microphone. And I don't know if I'm uh, popping it in any way. I think I might be popping it. Um... Might have to go get a pop filter, even though this says that it has a pop filter in it. Hold on. Oh yeah, I need a I need a pop filter. One second. Okay, so we're back. And oh, sorry everyone, that must have been loud. Okay, so as you can see, I have a pop filter in front of it now. Lesson 101: If you're going to use a condenser microphone, make sure that you have a pop filter because this thing popped a lot. Okay, listen. Yeah. Invest in a pop filter, even though this said the guy s said that this had a built-in pop filter. It doesn't have a very great one. It it's thin, but it has a uh, decent. Um, you know, it, it's it's pretty. It's decent. <coughs> Um, I don't know exactly how it sounds, even though I'm running it through zero latency monitor monitoring. Um, I don't know what to expect from this. None at all. Um, all I know is that it has three three different switches on it, which is more than the Shure SM7B. And it is. It's over there. It's packed up. Okay. Let me... Jesus Christ. I'm going to have a hard time with this one. Okay. I'm going to turn on the bass roll off. Okay. I heard a click. As well as, as, well as a noise of some sort. Probably indicating that the bass roll off is now activated. Okay. My voice does seem to have a little less bass, which I like actually, but I don't know. I think I might like the uh, the bass in there. Hold on, let me switch that back on. Ah, yes. That's a lot better actually. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so this is a multi pattern multipolar pattern condenser microphone so this thing has three different uh, polar patterns let's we're already using cardioid so let's check out what does cardioid sound like okay so obviously you can hear me in the front you shouldn't be able to hear me very much over here over on top here down here and you should just be able to hear me here However, the lobe of sensitivity is like that. It's a huge lobe, but there shouldn't be a lot back here. So you shouldn't have been able to hear me a lot. Let's change it to the figure eight polar pattern. Okay. Now you should be able to hear me perfectly over here. You should be able to you should be able to hear me perfectly over here. And then over here. And then down here. And just up here. Perfect. Sounds decent. And now the unidirectional. Okay. So this is the unidirectional, and oh my god, the gain has... Or the... I don't know, what happened to it? Uh, I'm going to have to turn it up. Uh, that changed dramatically. Okay. Whoops, I seem to be clipping a little bit. Uh, okay, there we go. So now this means that you should be able to hear me throughout the entire thing. However, that also means that the reverb 
has increased. Okay, let's test this. You should be able to hear me right up here, over here, down here, over here, none back here, some down, down here, and here, obviously. Now, obviously, for me, I'd only be using the cardioid. That's just me. This one, this has one other polar pattern as well. I mean, one other switch. It has a negative de 10 decibel pad and a negative 20 decibel pad. So we're going to check that in, in one second. Okay, three, two, one, negative 10. Okay, so what you should notice is I can get right up close to this thing. And I should be a lot quieter. Yes, works pretty well. Okay, negative 20 decibels. Whoa. That is nearly dead silent. That is so quiet. That is extremely quiet. I'll probably have to boost that in post. Okay. That's amazing, though. That's awesome. But... I think it's obvious that I'm not going to be using the negative 10 decibel pad at all if I were to use this thing. Um... Okay, wait one second. I'm going to have to totally loosen this thing up, move it way over here. Okay. Okay, so I shouldn't be able to, I should not be bumping it anymore. Oh, um, should probably deplete the gain. Because apparently I am hurting your ears. Okay. This thing... I don't know. I have no idea what it sounds like yet. I mean... The zero latency will give me a good idea. And so far it sounds really amazing. This thing sounds great. I don't know though. You guys are going to have to tell me what you guys think. Um, but, yeah, I mean, hey, I like it. Oh, by the way, I'm going to just tell you right now, this thing feels like a weapon. <coughs> feels like a weapon, feels like it's built out of rocks. <laughs> it feels really sturdy, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, excuse me. Now, is this a microphone that I'd probably be using? I don't know, honestly. To be perfectly honest, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, well, we're going to have to record a video tonight, aren't we? Like a gaming video. All right. I'll see you on that video. I'll tell you what I think in that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.